This method can help answer key questions in the field of microbiology, such as how DNA structure changes during the cell cycle of bacteria. The main advantage of this technique is that it is possible to visualize the ultrastructure of whole bacterial cells close to the living state at the appropriate time point without any additional treatment. Demonstrating the procedure will be Chifon Song, a postdoc from my lab, and Mako Hayashi, a grad student from Dr. Kaneko's lab. Begin with growing cyanobacteria on 9 cm sterilized BG11 plates containing 1.5% agar and 0.3% sodium thiosulfate. Incubate the plates at 23 degrees Celsius under a 12-12 light cycle with 50 micro E of light per square meter per second. To maintain the cells, transfer them onto fresh BG11 agar plates weekly. Within one week, cultures appear as green bands. Transfer the green clumps of cells using a flame-sterilized loop and streak them onto the new plate. To observe DNA compaction, collect the cells cultured for 6 days at the end of the light period. To release the cells from the plate, add 1 ml of 0.2 molar sucrose. Then, collect the cell suspension and repeat the sucrose addition and removal until the solution turns green. The color change indicates that most cells have been released. Now. Transfer 500 microliters of suspended cell solution to a microfuge tube and add hook stain for a final concentration of 1 microgram per milliliter. Then, let the cells incubate in the dark for 10 minutes.